Now the first step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card from the list. Select your operating system and then click on find. Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. So whichever is the latest graphic card driver over here, uh, you can click on view over here and then click on download. And let the download complete. Once done, click on click on it. Click on yes to allow. Click on OK, and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here, and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. And then click on next. Once it is done, restart again here. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is now AMD users. You can do the same thing. You can select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card. This is just an example. I don't have any graphics. So select your operating system and whichever is the latest graphic card driver, click on download, install it, restart the computer, and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphics settings and go set box, click on graphics settings, click on add desktop app, and then go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. And then open the game folder over here. Open this AOC folder, binary string 64. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game. Select high performance, you will see your graphic card over here. Now you can launch the game. Desktop users, make sure make sure that you select HDMI. You connect your HDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the dedicated slot. Next step is to disable integrated graphic card. Make a recommend start menu, go to device menu. Expand display adapter over here. If your computer has a dual graphic card, like me, that like one is Intel, other three is discrete graphic card, so you can make a right click on integrated graphic card and click on disable device and then relaunch the game. If you face any problem, or once you're done playing the game, you can come back and then you can enable the integrated graphic card device. Next step is to roll, roll back graphics driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, after you select your graphic card, your operating system, uh, on this page, you can Click on view more versions. Maybe you can try to install the older GeForce game rating driver. Click on go download it, install it. But when you go for installation, put a check the box which says perform a game installation, then restart the computer and then you can check. AMD card users can do the same thing after you select your graphic card. Click on previous versions and select your operating system. Then you can install the older graphic card driver and then restart the computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel. Search box, click on control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Over here, uh, if you see power saver, I have only values, but if you see power saver option like this, you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try values for high performance and then check. Next step is to type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings, click on advanced graphic settings over here. If hardware accelerated GPU setting, if this is off, turn it on. And then relaunch the game and check. If this is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and check. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows Search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings over here. And then under Advanced, click on Settings, the first setting, and then click on Advanced tab and then click on Change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your RAM and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it. So for in my case, it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte. Then three times multiplied three. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that you hit set and then click on OK. And then OK. OK. 
now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working the next step is to install easy anti cheat install easy anti cheat the boot soon make a right to the game select manage and browse your device and then open the game folder open easy anti cheat folder and here you can see install option make a right to make sure that you run it as anti cheat click on yes to allow here you can see ac install completed press enter key then check still not working install easy anti cheat Again, now for this again, copy this. You can select this easy and set up file, make that active. Then go to show more option. Then send to and select desktop shortcut. Now go to desktop here. You can see easy and get set up shortcut, make that active. Go to properties, go to target, the shortcut you will see target. Now at the end, after the quotation, you can type in this that is install space BRBD slash that. So after quotation over here, give one space and then so here after quotation there is one space then install space E R O D hyphen FL and then hit apply over here, click on OK and then make that active and then click on run as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not work. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this go to Steam, make that active in the game and then select properties, go to install files tab and then click on Verify and delete game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. Check. Still not working. The next is to remove the config folder. All the same settings will be lost when you remove the config folder. Now, for this, open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, click on users folder, click on your username folder. Now, open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put us on hidden items, open app data folder. Open the local folder here. You can see POC folder. Open this folder here. Open save folder here. You can see config folder. Make a right click, rename it, and then you can relaunch the game. Check still not working. Next step is to rename the save game files. When you rename the save game files, all the save game programs will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. And for this, go to the same location. Go to this location and then select this POC folder. Copy this folder. Only you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make that active on the POC folder. Rename it once you rename it. Now you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to skip the launcher. To skip the launcher, you can make that active in the game. Manage to browse your files and open the game folder. You can just make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check if that does not work. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator. And if it's still not work, open POC folder, binaries, win64, make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check if that does not work. Make a right click, go to properties, go to the staff, put it in the box, it says run this program as administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again, go to the staff. Project over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So do the same thing, go to the game instruction player which we have already done. Try running as an administrator. We have done this, so you can see we have already done this. Now, it's still not working. Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, open Windows settings for the PC and security. Windows security, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app for access. Click on yes to allow. And when you allow that, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder, then open the game folder, and then open the game folder.
just save the game and say bye to the computer network. Again, adding plugback browser maps, print PFC folder, binaries, and so on. Select the CSC file and click not typing window having the project blocks to remove the command. Second is security windows within the firewall, allowing app or feature to windows within the firewall. Change setting, allowing the app to run browse through the game installation of the next game. Open the game folder, making Select the game exit file to remove the game. Then add binaries and folder and the game, allowing the app to run browse through the game. Then proceed to the binaries with skip or select the CSC file to remove them. And then for the app. Once the game is added, click on to relaunch the game. Then check. Still not working. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like the mask, Mondo, and Bitbit, and get back any expert antivirus to remove the app, allow the game exit file to remove the game. Next step to install Visual C file for this game. Open the Stigma browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64 version. Let me download both x86 and x64 to run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. Windows still off. Download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. Click on install to run this file off and then installation of the game. Once installed, game started and click on exit to restart and then launch the game. Then check. Still not working. Update Windows. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update Security and then click on Super Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, game start and click. After this, it will game start and check. Still not working, update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your module number. Like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website, Dell Home, Lenovo website. Whichever brand you have, go to their website, select your module number, go to driver space, and then download the BIOS and install it. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10%. The AC adapter is connected to the unit, and then update the BIOS. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using, like if you have Vita or Fed, it's that a PFP adapter connected, disconnected. Disconnect extra controller sometimes too that extra controller connected, disconnect and disconnect it. Disable the Steam overlay. Now for this, again, go to Steam, make direct of the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay by name, and then launch the game. If you have any other mobile application running at Discord, then go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off this NVIDIA overlay, turn it off, and then close NVIDIA app. So close all Amazon Google application and then check. Do not overlock. Set it to default. Close all the overlocking application like if you have MSI after gaming or keyboard gaming. Any kind of overlocking application running, close it. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. If you have underworked it, you can remove the underwork and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to the thumb drive. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall, install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, then you can try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game was already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check it. So one of the steps from this video to help you to run this game successfully on Windows 10 11. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.